Y'all, it is almost July. June is almost out of here. Yes, July. There's July 4th, Independence Day. Cookouts are coming. That good summer weather is here. And it's time to plan for July's budget goals. So first in this video, I am going to review my June budget goals and wrap up the month of June, making sure I hit all of those goals that I set for the month. I will move on to setting some goals for July. I'll look back, see if there's some things I can improve upon from June going into July, setting some monthly budget goals for July. And then I will fill out my July month of paydays and bills due so that I know how everything's gonna flow and see just how the pay periods work out with my responsibilities and you'll get to see me plan. And then I may have a small wrap up at the end of the video. So let's get into it. As far as budget goals go, things went really well. I reviewed most of this along the way in the month of June. The only update since my debt snowball that I haven't reviewed is just this lawn care. And I took an opportunity and had someone cut the grass. And I'll just tell you, whenever you're sticking to a lean budget and you're just trying not to spend that extra cash, sometimes it is really worth it to have someone else come and do those things that you normally do. I feel like I am much more grateful when someone else does those types of things for me, like lawn care. Um, I can get out there and do it myself. It saves money. I get exercise and everything. But sometimes when my schedule is really busy and I can pay someone to come do it, it just gives me another level of joy. <laughs> and I am super excited to be able to do that sometimes. So yes, that is the only update to the budget goals. Now in planning for the month of July and using this budget review and the Happy Planner Budget Extension Pack, which I normally do every month, the first question asks, where did I have the most trouble? And I, for the most part, stick really closely to my budget. I mean, I just try to make sure that I don't go over too far. Like I really wrangle myself in and practice self-control and discipline. I would say one thing that I did this month that was out of the ordinary is for Father's Day, my sister and I went in on a ticket for my dad for us all to go to a jazz concert. And even though that wasn't originally planned out, uh, of course I paid with cash. I had the money and I arranged to be able to afford it in my pay period. It was just one of those things you spend money on that you just wouldn't trade. He had a great time and we had a great time. It was his Father's Day gift and it was awesome. I definitely try to plan for those types of things. And so that was something unexpected. I would say that happened in the month of July that I didn't necessarily plan for. Of course, I planned for Father's Day, not necessarily to buy a concert ticket, but we had a great time. And then of course, you know, buying my dad the concert ticket wasn't the biggest thing. It was more so buying my ticket and then putting in half on his ticket. It was just one of those expenses that I didn't plan for, but I am so happy we did. And then of course the next one is what could I improve this month? And normally what I put here is just to put more on eBay. Selling things on eBay just helps me to declutter and earn a few extra dollars. And I really like that. So that is what I will be putting here. Then for what goals I can set for next month, in this category, what I like to do is just think about some of the things I'll be spending on in the month of July. So my plan is to pay off the SECU account. And I will be so excited when that's done. That'll mean that I only have three more debts to pay and wow. So I am planning on paying off that account. I think the balance is almost at about $1,400. So that is the plan. And then I am planning for some lawn care just to make sure I make a provision for being able to afford lawn care. And I will think along the way of any other goals I need to set for the month, but so far that's all I have. So now moving on to planning my paydays and bills due. I'm gonna try something a little different with this video. And where I normally 
kind of give you an idea of what all I'm using and then show you me decorating my spread, then come back on after. I'm actually gonna do somewhat of a voiceover as I do my spread. And let me know in the comments which one you like better. Do you kind of like me taking a break, listening to some music that all night? Do you like that? And just watching me do my spread in fast mode or would you prefer me to talk over as I am completing the spread? Let me know in the comments which is your preference. Either one for me is a-okay. But before I do that, I did want to show you a couple things that I'm using. One is this sticker kit from Sarah Marie Budgets. And this sticker kit is so cute. So this is actually her June sticker kit. And I first saw this used by Stephanie Ann, I believe. She has a channel here on YouTube. And she used this for her June spread. I saw it and I loved it. And I was just like, I have to have it. It's so pretty. This is one of my favorite colors, this peachy, corally, beautiful, pink, pretty. And I love palm and green flowers and plants, all things beautiful. <laughs> and then I also love black and white geometric shapes. And I just think these are so pretty. And one thing I love about her stickers is that though this is the June kit, you can pick it up and use it in July. And that's because on the washi itself isn't printed the month. So you've seen some of those sticker kits where they have kind of printed on the washi June or July or what have you. So when I went out to check out some of her stickers and I saw her July kit, I thought that was so pretty, but I just could not get away from how lovely these stickers were. And as I looked further, I noticed that I could actually use these in July because the month is not hard coded on here. So these June stickers, I could use in August if I wanted to. If she designed a kit in March that I liked, I could use it in December if I wanted to. So I really prefer that and I'm so excited about using that. So I have some thick washi here that I'll be using along with some of the thin washi. I mean, isn't that just cute? I love it. And then here, and then here are her Bill Do stickers that I'll be using. And this is set up for Erin Condren, so I'm not sure if I'll have to cut any of these for my Happy Planner, but we'll see as we go along. Also, one other thing I wanted to share with you is this big thing here. This is my new paper trimmer. And I was in the market for a paper trimmer because normally I will whip out my scissors and cut things, but every once in a while I do want something that has a straight line. And so I kind of started pricing them just to see how much they would cost. I got a coupon from Staples for $10 off, $10. I went and I found this paper trimmer and it was $18.99. So I ended up spending $9.62 for it. So I'm really excited. I will be using it to trim up any of these stickers. I'm pretty sure I'll need to trim this one to fit the header here. So when I do trim it, at least it'll be as straight as possible. That is the plan. So without further ado, let's give this a shot. So I'm starting out by putting down these July tab stickers. They'll go on the front and the back of those tabs and are supplied with the Happy Planner Budget Extension Pack. I did decide to go ahead and cut those large washi stickers, at least the one for this monthly spread. And of course I noticed that when I cut those, I separated that green palm from the flower on the bottom. I think maybe it's a hibiscus or something, but I still think it turned out really, really pretty. I loved this sticker layout and I thought it went really nice. Now I know some of you experienced planners may not normally turn your pages upside down, but <laughs> I try for the interest of time to just go ahead and get it as straight as I can, turn it upside down and look at it. It's really, really cute. So as is a custom of mine, I for some reason just really like to make my header washi into a flag. I can't remember where I first saw this, but I just think it's so cute and it just adds just a little something special to it. I saved that cutting for something a little bit later and I just think that's really nice.
This larger July sticker is supplied by Happy Planner as well. So I go ahead and put that down at the top. And then I am gonna move on to filling in my dates using my Pentel Energel Fine Tip Pen. I love these pens. Pentel Energel is one of my favorites. And this fine tip just gives me the ability to make my numbers large, but not too bold, like not too thick. And so I really, really like that. Moving on to completing my transaction log, I'm gonna use the large washi that is that peachy pink chevron type arrow look to it. And again, this is so fresh and cute. I am laying this down along with a plain thin washi strip so that I can write on it a little bit later. And though she has some transaction log stickers and other stickers that match the particular layout, I went with this black and white one because I just think it ties so well in with the other sticker that has that black and white somewhat geometric pattern. But then it also looks great on this paper with the black and white lining the side of this happy planner sheet. Here I am writing in my headers for the date, the amount, the description, and whether or not the transaction is a want or need. And so I got this layout from the Happy Planner Budget Extension Pack. There's a transaction log in there. And I just like this because I can look back and see of all my transactions, which ones were wants and needs and kind of <laughs> readjust based on, on that. Maybe I am spending too much on wants over needs and can adjust that better taking my ruler and making some straight lines so I can keep it all managed. And my ruler had a little dip in it that I didn't notice before. So on that one row and <laughs> in every line, there's a dip, but that is a okay with me. I am lining the bottom with one of these thin washies. Look how cute. And then I am gonna move on to the back to do the same. I didn't get another transaction log sticker, but I am gonna line the top with that thick washi the thin washi, making my headers, lines, and so on and so forth. Let me know in the comments what you are looking forward to in July. Do you have any vacations coming up, any barbecues? You might have a birthday, you're looking forward to paying off a debt, any anniversaries? Let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to for July. I'd love to know. Here I am putting a thin washi at the bottom of this paper and yeah. That's just about it. I like the way this turned out. I'm gonna move on to laying down my payday stickers and I am using stickers from Elaine Michelle. I think that they go really well with this layout. They're a pretty shade of green, but don't conflict with the green already in the layout. So I think that that's really cute. I was flipping through some of my Happy Planner books and saw this Choose Happy book had so many beautiful palm stickers. Look at that. I didn't want to put down too many palm stickers, but I was really thrilled to see that there were so many because I love plants and flowers and I just think these are so cute. So as I used to do more so back in the day, I am taking one of these square stickers and cutting it in half to make me a corner page turner. I love these. And then that cutting that I took from the flag earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and use that as well. I try not to waste any sticker, period. And then look at this sticker. Love yourself, that's so cute. The colors, the rose gold, it's beautiful. And let me take a moment talking about loving yourself to shout out my succulents over there. Don't they look so pretty? I love succulents. These were left from last year. I cut off the tops and I am getting these to root 
and I just thought that they looked so good against this spread and I love them. They're so pretty. I'm cutting this palm sticker in half and lining it to the straight edges to give it a peekaboo effect. I just decided to move that flag cutting down a little bit. Next up is just to put down my bill do stickers. The more and more bills I get in, I will put more of these down, but I only have a few for right now. The stickers worked out. They ended up being nicely laid, overlapping the lines just a bit, but I actually like that. It's really pretty. So that's just about it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Ta-ta for now. I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to comment and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.